We've had some requests to take a tour of our new home, so we thought we'd do that for you today. We found the RV that we absolutely love and we hope you'll find one as well. This is Ruby Red, our Tiffin Allegro Red 33AA. All right, come on in. Let me show you around. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things about our new home. So first of all, up here in the cockpit or on the bridge or whatever you would like to call it, I really like the fact that we have automatic leveling system. I come over and just push the button, jacks drop, and we, we are level just like that. So simple, so easy. Our camera system shows the back of our rig at all times um, so we can see the car as we're towing it. Also, the same system will switch to a different camera when we turn on our blinker. So when the right blinker is on, we can see all the way down the right side of the RV um, and the same with the left. So it's very helpful whenever we're traveling for safety. It's, it's great. The navigation system has our measurements for the RV so it knows where we can and where we cannot fit. One thing I really don't like about the RV is the fact that I'm too short to drive. I can't reach the pedals. If I do, I'm sitting right on the edge of the seat. So we have to figure out something to do about that so I can start driving the RV too. Well, start driving when I'm not scared to drive it anyway. Ruby is equipped with a Cummins owning RV quiet diesel 8000 generator. She keeps us powered while we're boondocking. When we were looking for our perfect RV, we sat on a lot of couches. This couch is actually comfortable and we really love it. So it's long enough to lay down on while you're watching TV um, and it's also a sofa bed. Hang on, check this out. And just like that, we have a queen size bed. It's pretty comfortable too. It's an air mattress as well as memory foam. So when company decides to pop in, which there probably won't be many because everybody thinks we're crazy for doing this, they have a nice comfy place to sleep. Excuse me while I take a nap. Ruby is powered by Cummins ISB 6.7 liter 360 horsepower engine. She also has a smooth shifting Allison 3000 MH 6 speed automatic transmission that sits on a Freightliner XCM chassis. And of course Phil's favorite place is right here. Gee, I wonder why. Her hitch is rated at 5,000 pounds towing. You might see a dining table when you look here, but I see a lot more than that. This is actually a workstation. I have an outlet as well as two USB ports there. And my grandson Hudson, let me show you what he loves about this table. All it takes is a flip of the lever. And just like that, it's the perfect place for kids to sleep. Or maybe short, short people like me. She's equipped with a 24 gallon propane tank used for heating our water, cooking, and on those rare occasions when it dips below freezing, it'll heat us up. So I know what you're thinking. This is where the margaritas, oh, I mean magic happens. In the kitchen, everybody's favorite place. So um, obviously the RV kitchen is gonna be much smaller than your home kitchen. A couple of things that I have that are very convenient is um, the top that goes over the sink. There's a two-sided sink, so I have tops for both. That will give me more counter space. I also have a three-burner propane um, stove. In case you might not have noticed, there is no oven in this RV, but I do have a convection oven, and I hear they're pretty great, but I haven't actually used it as a convection oven yet. It's on my to-do list. Ruby's gross vehicle weight is rated at 32,000 pounds. 12,000 pounds on the front axle, 20,000 pounds on the rear axle. And luckily for Phil's belly, we have a full-size residential fridge. She also has a Magnum 2000 watt pure sign inverter. Of course we couldn't buy an RV unless it had a fireplace, right? We need all the ambiance for those nice 70 degree days, which is what we plan on chasing. No, I'm just kidding. It's not for ambiance, although it is pretty cool, right? Actually, it's an electric heater and it can heat up this RV pretty quickly. Here's Ruby's 10 gallon water heater. She's both electric and gas, which means Stacy needs to learn how to take shorter showers because I'm tired of taking cold showers. And now you're in the bathroom. That's right. It's this big. 
Try not to get lost while you're in here. No, really. It's plenty big enough. It has everything we need to get the job done. And I wouldn't want to waste living space in here when I would rather have it out there in the living room. Let's talk size because it does matter. The movie has a 100 gallon diesel tank uh, that can be filled from either side of the RV. She holds 90 gallons of fresh water. She has a 70 gallon gray tank and a 50 gallon black tank. And of course the bedroom. Here it is. Just like everybody else's, no big deal. The mattress is pretty comfortable though. I must say it's not a typical RV mattress. It is memory foam. So we love, love, love it. She has a total of four house batteries. Two additional were added for our residential refrigerator. And don't worry, I have plenty of storage space. Everything fit. I even let Phil bring some of his clothes. I think I just found a new place to catch some rays on the roof while I'm checking out my WineGuard Roadtrip T4 in motion satellite so that I can continue to watch my sports. And to keep us entertained while going down the road, we have our satellite XM antenna right here. And right here on board is my own washer and dryer. So that way when Phil comes in all sweaty and dirty, I can just throw his laundry right on in. They are a little smaller than what I had in my house, but that's okay, they still get the job done. And an added benefit to my washer and dryer is extra storage. Perfect place to hide those extra blankets. She's also equipped with a triple vision over the air television antenna. And of course we have not one, not two, not three, but four TVs to fill my sports addiction. I'm so thrilled. To keep us cool in these hot summer days, like today, she has two 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioners. I hope you enjoyed your tour of Ruby. Um, if you have any questions about any of the standard features in the RV, just drop them below. And I'll try my best to answer them. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.